All right, so here we go. Got a new project, still working on a few others that aren't going the way I want them to, so they'll take a little longer. But in the meantime, got a birthday present for my dad that needs some scales. MKM uh, Macro 2 Sheep's Foot and uh, Naked, no scales. So just for fun, we'll use my little altered Cobra Tech with a walnut scale. But um, open that up. And let's see what we have. So there's a sheath. That'll work for now. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a new leather sheath form that's gonna be um, molded to the knife and the scales when they're done. But here we go. He liked the shape of the pilar, and I think this would be a pretty cool one for you know cabin, outdoors, camping, out on the airstream and stuff just to have around um, and I need to make some scales and I was thinking of my car scales I was thinking of wood plastic I have walnut that I could shape but I'll have to find it I should be right. I'll have to come back on that but I've got some firewood that I shaped and joined and made a piece for a, a present for a friend of mine and I think I can cut it up and make it into the scales so yeah we'll see how that goes this thing's M390 first piece M390 I've had in my house um, thing is I'm well, pretty dull so I'll, that's good for now but uh, I'll fix that up before I give it to Pops. All right, so found the piece of wood. This was band salted out of some firewood and uh, joined it right down the middle. So I can kind of do book matched scales. I can cut some, you know, picks a pretty spot out of each side and cut the scales and have book matched scales on each side. That's a uh, might be pretty cool. I could do it out of walnut, but I can always do it again. So we'll see how this looks. Scales are done. Glue it together. Ready to go, right? Nice and chunky. Alright, no, seriously. Um, we'll have the show side of each of them. And a lot of cutting, working them down. I think I've got an idea of how I'm going to mount them. So it'll be semi-permanent. Pretty much have to probably break them to get them loose. But, uh, yeah, so I'll fill in here I'll drill that and leave that as a lanyard hole fill in some of this space maybe the whole thing we'll see um, and then it'll glue it together and probably leave it shadowed so that the crown uh, filing on the edges is still a little bit proud so sort of like what uh, what you can buy when you buy this thing whether the micarta or whatever it was they had on there anyway yeah so
All right, so we've got the perimeter shaped in the, in the finger troll around, just, just kind of showing a little bit of relief all the way around. And um, yeah, so that'll do pretty good. So now I've got to draw how I want, want it to go cut off somewhere right in here. Shape that up. And then I believe it should be time to uh, split up the two halves. It's perimeter shaped. Next thing I know is I'll, I'll build the, the fill in the middle. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin through here. I'll turn down on the lathe maybe a uh, piece of walnut. Might do that. And so there'll be a walnut pin in there and I'll glue it all the way through and then do a final shaping with it on the knife. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. It, but just filled it back up with sawdust and um, super glue and you can't hardly tell definitely won't by the time it's sanded down and has a finish on it but uh, those will be the handles shape them up like I said want a pin here I'll fill the inside so that I can epoxy them together let that sit and then we'll I believe I'm probably just gonna shape them carefully on the knife? We'll see. I'll think about it. I've got to give uh, my son his AirPods back. I stole them so that I could have a little bit better audio to record this than what I've done in the past. But yeah, so we'll come back hopefully tomorrow night and um, work on that a little more. It should be pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make the walnut pin to go in. And uh, this is a bit of walnut we found at Thanksgiving. Looking for uh, firewood, kept it. I've used it a few times. So I'll cut, cut a uh, square chunk out of that. Find the centers and then we'll turn it on the lathe and um, wind up filling in on the knife. Then we'll make the uh, centerpiece, start gluing together. Probably do a little shaping of these before they um, get glued. So let's get going.
So we have the pieces all made up. Ready to start doing some final shaping. I went ahead and made a second one. I didn't like the fit of the first one too loose. So off camera, I made this one where it snugs in nicely. 10 fits. So I'll shape this down to where it's flush. And it can fill in the inside there. And then I'll do a little bit of shaping on the outside of the scales. And then we'll mix up some epoxy and start putting it together. Alright, here we are. Um, so yeah, I had to redo the scales. I lost my book, book mac matching. When I went to ease over the edge on the sander just to get started before hand sanding, I did the wrong side on one of them. So I had to same pieces rather than mirror images. So I had to redo it. And since I had everything else planned out and working, I had the opportunity now to shape them while they're still stuck together. So I used the one to make the other and then just went ahead and shaped them all together. So we should be good here if I can split it carefully without breaking it or cutting myself. Just a little bit. There we go. Pull the tape off. <laughs> Not even marked inside on both and I still put the inside on the wrong wrong side of the sander plate when I went to do it so just hit that real quick so now this is what we have pin goes in a little tight on that one but there's still plenty of pin and there there it is I get a little beefy. Let's take the pen out real quick. But it fills up your hand a little better. So now it's time to clean the markings off the blade where I marked everything, a little alcohol acetone. Clean everything up, clean up my space here, and mix some epoxy. Total boat. But uh, yeah, let's get going with that. finished MKM Macro 2 sheep's foot that 
did not have scales prior. And now, coming out of the original sheath with the magnet, which, by the way, the magnet's somewhat annoying. Um, but there are the firewood oak handles with a walnut pin epoxied in place. Lanyard hole and the blade sharpened. So now this time, I actually cut something. So we've got this original sheath, and like I said, I was probably going to make a new one. Well, didn't feel like trying to record that, but here is the new one, freshly finished. Somewhat molded to it. Work it in. It's got a belt clip, just a two-inch belt clip, and then a little loophole that you can use if you wanted to hang it lower. And as time goes in, hit it with a little more oil, little more oil and fit in there nicely. So, happy birthday, Dad. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be able to do fun stuff like this. Wouldn't have figured it out and um, not be scared to try things. Whether or not I've ever done them before or not. So... Hope you like it, get some use, use it, tear it up, have fun. Happy birthday, or happy late birthday.